Who is Yedon Jagrova? Welcome to Campfire Football. I'm Sebastian North. So Yedon Jagrova is a Kosovan international. He currently plays for Lille in Liga in France, but he has an incredibly bright future. And in my opinion, it's just a matter of time before he gets transferred to a much bigger club. He's an inverted winger, left-footed, plays on the right-hand side. He's very tricky, loves to cut in and hit curlers. And he has been dubbed the Kosovan Messi. He's a very creative, elusive dribbler, very quality on the ball, very difficult to read, and he creates a lot of chances. Yedon Jagrova was born in Hereford, Germany on March 31st, 1999 to Kosovan Albanian parents. Now they escaped from the old Yugoslavia when the country was falling apart and war broke out in 1998. Now when I was doing my research on this, I couldn't quite find out when they moved back to Kosovo, but they did move back to Pristina, the capital, and that is where young Yedon Jagrova started to make a name for himself in the youth ranks. Now, the first time he got noticed was at an AC Milan junior camp in Kosovo, where he was far and away the best player there. So he'd continue his development in Kosovo for the next three years, playing for local clubs Flamurtari and Pristina, before moving on to Belgium in 2012 with Sander Liege and St. Truiden. He continued to play in the academies there, and then in 2017, he got a move to Genk, where he started his professional career and got his debut. And over the course of a couple years there, he would play 19 times and score two goals. Actually, his first appearance, he came on for Ukrainian baller Ruslan Malinovsky. If you don't know who this guy is, he's got the ultimate thunderbolt of a left foot. But then he got a bigger move, going to FC Basel in Switzerland on an 18-month loan. Kind of an interesting deal, sort of like a trial period to see how he would do, and it went very well. For the first 10 months of his time at Basel, he was just a substitute, came off the bench to make an impact, but then by November of 2019, he was starting games and contributing to goals and assists. He actually started nine out of the final 10 matches before COVID interrupted the entire season, scoring two goals and getting three assists. So that was for the first six months of his loan. The next year, the 2020-2021 season, and he really delivered. He got 30 league appearances, 20 of those were starts, and he scored five goals and got six assists. And his dynamism, quality, and impact showed that he was going to be ready for a bigger move soon. Now in 2021-2022, he struggled to put a decent run of games together because he was injured a fair amount of the time. But when he played, he was good. In just 12 appearances, he scored four goals and got six assists. So it was abundantly clear he was on to bigger and better things soon. And on January 14th, 2022, Yeran Jagrova signed for Lille for 7 million euros. I'm telling you, this is going to be a bargain eventually. This is a top-level club who won Ligue 1 back in 2021, and so he's not getting a huge amount of time. He's been an impact sub for much of his career there. In 63 appearances in all competitions for Lille, he has 12 goals and 13 assists. Not an insane return, but there is something there, because season by season, he's contributing to more goals and assists. He actually got his first hat trick in professional football in the recent 12-0 route Lille had over Golden Lion FC, the club from Martinique who was participating in the Coupe de France. If you want to hear a little bit more about that, I've just made a video about this 8,000-mile journey that a tiny Caribbean club made just for the French Cup. So to the international side, Yedon Jagrova was eligible to play for Albania and obviously also Germany because that's where he was born. But he chose Kosovo. Which, by the way, I love that. I think it's fantastic because it's the lowest level team of all the ones that he had available to him. And you have to remember that Kosovo was part of the old Yugoslavia when it broke apart and then became a part of Serbia after that. They got their independence in 2008 as a country, but FIFA and UEFA did not recognize them yet. And then, in September 2012, Albania international Lori Kana, Swiss boys Granit Xhaka, Valon Barani, Jerdan Shakiri, they were all Kosovo Albanians who wrote a declaration to Set Blatter asking to allow Kosovo to be allowed to play friendlies against FIFA sanctioned sides. This impassioned letter seemed to have worked because in 2013, FIFA recognized Kosovo as a nation that could participate in global football. So Kosovo finally got to playing, played their first friendly match against Haiti, a dull nil-nil draw, but finally the journey was beginning. And then they were admitted into UEFA in 2016, which was huge because they were able to participate in 2018 World Cup qualifying, get into the Nations League, and eventually they would go through a Euro qualifying campaign for the 2020 slash 2021 Euros, which almost yielded a first appearance at a major tournament. But this seemed to just be the start for Kosovo, and we'll see how they get on from here. Now, Yedan Zagrova has contributed four goals and two assists in his 34 international appearances. That is bound to grow very soon. 
For me, this guy's a major player to keep an eye on. Again, if you watch some of his highlights, it's abundantly clear he comes off like a Salah, like a Riyad Mahrez. Inverted wingers who are left-footed, playing on the right-hand side, able to come in and cause absolute chaos with their trickery and ability to finish. And he's in a very good place club-wise because Lille are well-known for developing young talent and selling them on to the absolute biggest clubs. We're talking Rafael Leao, Victor Osimhen, Timothy Weah, Sven Botman, Mike Mignon, Gabriel Magales, Yves Bissouma, and if you go back a little bit, Eden Hazard. Another player he's been compared with, that one I don't really see. But I love the comparisons with Mo Salah because Mo Salah also did come out of FC Basel doing very similar things. I think he's going to be a massive talent, and I think it's only a matter of time before he gets a big move and everyone's talking about him. So remember the name, Yedon Jagrova. I'm Sebastian North. This is Campfire Football. Take it easy.